live in a few seconds. We are. I just want to spam that link somewhere. Hello, everyone. Oh, there we go. I'm getting pop-ups now. Good. Yeah. yeah, I got mine. Something is live. Let's see. <coughs> no, that doesn't show why I need to see me. That's why your channel. And share, copy. Tell you what, while I'm doing some copy and pasting, what have you been up to this week, Ryan? Oh, actually work was busy this week, which was kind of a nice change. Last week was so bloody quiet. I actually had stuff to do. That photo you showed me was crazy of your uh, silos out there. Oh, those grain Yeah, that was in Saskatchewan somewhere where that was. Um, yeah, it came right in. I, I have seen that in the past happen, but... Uh, yeah, it's pretty wicked wind the last few days. We didn't get near the wind in Manitoba as Saskatchewan did, but it was still bloody windy. Yeah, that's just something else. I mean, that's like watching Jedi mind trick stuff crushing yeah. things, you know. <laughs> All right, I'm not spamming anywhere else. That was a good week. It's weird having Wednesdays off, and now I got Wednesdays off to the end of the month. Oh yeah, to, and it was weird to go in yesterday because like, oh man, I gotta find a working RF gun, a working printer, my machine, and of course nothing was around. I said, oh, I don't care, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I grabbed yeah. everything else I needed, and then they they wanted me for special projects. I had to consolidate stock, and it's like, okay, this is cool. I don't have to do yeah. my regular gig. Great, I can just coast all day, be alone, <laughs> which is great because no one will come near me. It's like that's the perfect COVID job to have an yeah. entire warehouse lane to yourself. It's like perfect. <laughs> Well, it's kind of nice to be able to do something out of the normal then, too. Yeah, it's a little different. For, I didn't have to go up in the air so much, but, of course, it kills my neck because I'm looking up to um, using dock stalkers and reach trucks to stack skids and stack what we call um, bedsteads, which are flat metal platforms, four pins or legs, and then you could stack those metal bedsteads on top of each other, and they're like temporary racking you could put skids in. Oh, Okay. So you could have no racking in a warehouse, have these things, and very quickly all of a sudden have stacked skids. It's very uh, space efficient as long as you don't have any bad drivers who are going to knock them over. Cause they're not, they're <laughs> yeah. not pinned into the concrete like a regular rack system is. Yeah, they're not LTD in. Which is another reason why, you know, they have experienced operators like me build them up. And, but, yeah, bad for the neck, bad for the head. Uh, who's here? Arsenal's here. Hey, Arsenal, Mama Lego. Welcome to the stream. I couldn't even see the comments because I was clicked on something else. <laughs> so I got two things this weekend. I don't know when's the next new brick's going to be unless Ryan gets something next week or someone else wants to jump in because I'm not ordering nearly as much. Build more, buy less. I want this, you know, it's kind of my New Year's resolution. Plus I picked up a lot of my 2021 stuff I was interested in already. So let's see. Let's do... That one first. So this was a... Let me get rid of that. I don't need a keyboard. Hey, T-Mog. You got anything, T-Mog? Don't tell us what it is. You can jump on if you want. By the Same. time I click on his stream, he finished today. Oh. <coughs> now, see, through, through I, I set the reminder. I set the reminder, and YouTube... Oh, I tell you. I'm going to write an app <laughs> so that we get reminded of what we want to get reminded of. Yeah. Um, actually, I tell you what, Ryan, you got Tmog on on your messenger or anything? Because uh, the same link I sent you would work for him. No, I don't. You don't? Well, I, I guess we are. For, I, I've got him on Facebook, so I guess technically. Anywhere you got him, you can send him the exact same link and he can walk in. Okay. Let me see about our setup here. Boom. Do I want to do this one? 
Okay, why are you not showing the camera? Oh my goodness. I don't need this. This is because I was screwing with my settings earlier. Watch this. How about my other camera? Too, oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to open my Facebook and it's now Microsoft Edge, not responding. <laughs> well, the worst part, worst part was I said remove from stream, which I had done. And uh, that stupid one. I just turned on my camera. Okay, if I add it back to stream, look at that. That's a ghetto way to, look at that. Okay, I'll just leave it running then. <laughs> <laughs> the stupid settings app is killing me. Oh, it works and it doesn't. Lego City Car Transport, good set, I recommend it. Yeah, I'm not a city guy. I buy city sets when they're discounted. Usually for flips. I'm going to try and stick to ideas, Star Wars, and only a handful of Star Wars. And then it's got to be something really unique or special for me to buy. That's, that's going to be the rules I'm setting for myself this year. And I'm not buying any more old Lego. And I'm not, do, and I'm not going to do eBay. Or I'm going to try not to do eBay. eBay was bad. Yeah. So... This was a January 1st order. So, of course, for January 1st, we got the car. Yeah, let's swap that in. Boom. A little faded, but yeah. Got the car that everyone's complaining about because those stupid surfboards fall off. And I seem to be the only guy who's been able to fix it putting that plastic cellophane behind or over the studs on the build and then you push the surfboard on and it won't fall off. Everyone I know who's tried it, it works. Surfboards won't fall off. So yeah, that was a gift of purchase, which I didn't care if I got one way or the other, but it's nice because I think that's the first or second, actually it's the second idea's gift with purchase set, I think. I feel like there was one before. The rocket ship, wasn't that an idea set? Uh, yeah, I remember that all right, and we got the, I'm trying to figure out what's going to be the best way to show this off here. How about that way? So, where's the front? Is that the front? So there's the front, the bonsai. I was really excited. I don't even know. There we go. I was really excited when this uh, was announced. I like the look of it. And I love Lego going in a different direction with sets and, you know, getting away from themes. So just give us something interesting to build or display. Yeah. And this is something that, uh, you know, there's nothing 18, there's 18 plus, nothing 18 plus about it other than it's kind of mature. It's not difficult by any means. This, I feel, deserves the 18 plus moniker. So I'm kind of happy about that. And I did say, remember my whole uh, pre-Christmas travel around the province, three hours, 15 stores? Yeah. So that was the third set I was hunting that night, which I couldn't find oh, okay. anywhere. And I guess because it was probably the cheapest of the three Star Wars sets, or close to the cheapest. Oh, well, Plus I had Baby Yoda. Everyone wants Baby Yoda, right? Yeah. So you got Mando, Baby Yoda, and... Who else in there? And a Tuscan Raider. I don't think I need another Tuscan Raider, but actually I don't need another Baby Yoda or Mandalorian either. <laughs> hey T Mog. Welcome going? to the stream. I missed your show earlier. I blame YouTube. Uh yeah, I've been having issues with that as well. Uh had a lot of people who were like, Yeah, I didn't get notified. And I was like, Yeah, there's an extremely low amount of people who didn't show up. And I was like, It's fine, but like, what's up with YouTube? <laughs> And I was home all day for it. It's not like I wasn't around either. Hey, Brad, the dad, yeah. he's hanging around. Yeah, I've just been streaming every day. I might finish this build on Sunday, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. <sighs> yeah, hey, Brad. It's set. It was almost disappointing that I missed out earlier. Yeah. <clears throat> 
But uh, and what else did they put in here? Oh, Legoland Resort. Now, isn't that funny? So we can't travel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, opening spring 2021. Yeah, because we're all going to rush. I mean, hey, if, if the world wasn't burning, we'd all love to go, you know. And if the yeah. you know, all of our local governments weren't screwing us, you know, we'd love to be there. But it's like, yeah, great. So is this a free pass? No, just a promo. Coupon must be redeemed. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. I can give that to someone who's doing a city mock, and I'm sure they'll make a billboard or something for their city, mm -hmm. which might be okay. So that's not a bad little haul for me there. Uh, 878 pieces for the bonsai tree. And does it come with the pink bit? Oh, it does. So you could switch out the pink with you the green. You can switch them out. That's okay. Cool. And then the Mando set, you know, from the first wave, now I got all three of whatever I wanted from Star Wars, so it won't be anything until, I guess, the UCS sets or whatever the mm -hmm. spring wave is. I saw uh, Mandar's most two most recent videos, so I guess there is going to be stuff I'll want, but mm -hmm. not a lot. All the big sets, yeah. The three big ones for the year, sure. But The, uh, the Mandalorian ship, the... Uh... Kind of like the pre Vizsla fighter, I think that'll be one I will. Yeah, especially with the original being so hot. And is that the one that's yeah. going to have the Bo, Bo Katarin or whatever? That's figure? what's rumored, I think. Yeah. yeah. They include that figure that sells it right there. And yeah. the past history on, you know, the original set, which was what, another one of those sleeper hits where um, the set didn't sell well originally. A lot of Clone Wars stuff. It, it all, it all, you know, went up afterwards as people got interested in the series when it was canceled, and then you know when other projects were bringing up Clone Wars kind of content and stuff. And I mean, that's when it really started rising. When you know, once the show was gone. Yeah, once you started seeing it in Rebels, I think that's when it took off. Yeah, I mean Rebels. It's it, and it's funny that a lot of people didn't. And again, with Rebels, like people didn't clue into rebels much the, the rebels sets didn't necessarily sell that well and it's like i just don't understand the star wars fans if it's not tied to like the movies they just aren't yeah. nearly as interested and it's funny it wasn't until year about year three of rebels and then everyone started tuning into it and yeah by the time it was over everyone was crazy about it <laughs> so brad your wife is going to build uh the bonsai that's pretty cool. Yeah, the build. Gonna, it's gonna have broad, it's gonna have broad appeal. I'm convinced of it. I mean, the bouquet of flowers out there. I was interested in that too. But uh, this more so than the uh, bouquet of flowers. Oh, the Ahsoka Tano. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, that's that that set. That's. Um, Oh, what is that? Darth Maul in a Sokotano battle in the throne mm -hmm. room? I think the throne room looks like ass. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I mean, it's a flat plate with uh, another plate wall in the back, you know, brick wall that has a slight bend with hinges. If it wasn't for the two figures, no one would touch it. I don't care what the price is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's good for Bray bricks. And, you know, we don't have a problem in, in Lego Star Wars finding gray bricks or gray plates. Hey, Shy Time. Welcome, welcome to the stream. I think that's the first time I've seen you in here. You feeling any better? And Mama, Mama wants the bonsai. So, Ryan, you got something for show and tell. Let's see if you can guess what's in here. Let's see here. We'll give you a full screen. Funko EB Pop. Game. Now that that makes it tough because EB Games has Lego and has all kinds of other stuff. Mega blocks and even McFarland bricks and and I'm I'm assuming brick toys, so Oh like no Black Series. <laughs> oh boy. You have gone down a dark hole. <laughs> nice. Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. Django. 
The five oh first trooper. Oh, that's pretty cool. And are these the first? These are the first. Like your uh, first uh, black series. Oh, 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 oh! Right, yes, a duh, yeah, yeah. yeah that, no. that was the one that got your toes wet. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm officially screwed. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you got some nice ones to start. Yeah, like I, I definitely wouldn't buy the, like every single one that comes out, but uh, yeah, I just stumble across. I hadn't been on EB's website in a long time, and I took a look, and I was like, "Oh, that's cool." <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so, <laughs> well, you, so, you, so you ordered them, eh? I I ordered them and picked them up in town at EB. They had them in stock. I so I, I haven't. I haven't ordered anything that I've actually gotten from EB. I've had, I've ordered and had stuff canceled. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, I think they've canceled seven out of seven orders in two years. Yeah. I've never gotten a thing from them because they're great for taking a pre-order or a special yeah. order or whatever and then getting it. I don't know. It's not that I have any problems getting the refunds. I get them right back, but it's like, and that's when they've taken the money up front. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, you know, I, I don't do well with EB. I like going in the stores, and I do well in store because every store is a little different. So when things weren't closed here, you know, if I had an opportunity to go into two or three different stores, I would because each store had some different stock, and there's always yeah. hidden gold in them. Well, the funny part with this is I ordered, I was on, that was Wednesday night looking, and I ordered them for uh, in-store pickup. And uh, so they pre-author is my credit card i picked them up yesterday late the afternoon and i looked about an hour ago and they still haven't put the charge to my credit card <laughs> wow yeah yeah see what happens well i mean you remember last year i got the um second halo warthog set right the rally I got oh. that for I got that free. That that's um you know, mayor finds in your favor. Collect you know ten dollars. You know, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, if you guys are dumb, one you know, going to send me something great. It, it I wasn't billed in the end. Yeah, I picked up those. And I think, then I, I think Brad's got the name a little bit wrong there. <laughs> Abraxas, Subraxas, welcome to the stream. What time is it in the UK right now? It's got to be late, right? Someone more educated is going to tell us. It would be first thing in the morning. I'm bad. I'm bad with time zones. I mean, it's still early for you, right? I mean, it's 9.27 for me. 2.27 a.m. Yeah. See, if I stroke my beard, I look smarter. So I'm just going to do this a lot until it bugs me too much. It's very close to being there now. I'm doing the, you know, the French, you know, evil guy, evil genius guy, twisting the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably going to go tomorrow. I saw it for two seconds and my typos are horrendous. Yes, sir. <laughs> you said it, not me. Well, I'm bad on the phone. Everyone knows that. I'm t when I'm texting on the, the iPhone, what comes out, especially with autocorrect, I blame autocorrect. Half time it's me, but the other half it is there. Wow, 2.27 a.m. in UK. Well, it's Friday night and you guys are more locked down than we are. So I, ma I imagine you're not going to work tomorrow. And no school Saturdays. Mm -hmm. So I just, I'm just like this, I'm building the Njaga City Gardens and uh, there's 26 bags and I've gotten to bag number 12 so far. And I, I've been looking at this and I'm just in, in amazement. I feel like it's well worth the money I paid and the references. I'm just like, there's Ninjago references and there's even video game references that aren't even related to Ninjago. So... Okay. So is it like one bag each number or did they do like two number threes or two bags per number normally? Wow. 
Oh, that's a big set. How many pieces all together? Uh, <laughs> It's in like 5,600 or something. 5,685. Wow. So you stood in line for that this morning? No, yesterday. Or yesterday, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so technically I was first in line because I go to the entrance that make it so I can go quicker. And apparently somebody used their excuse of, oh, yeah, I work in the mall. And apparently they did. So they went in there, got past security by using that excuse, and then waited in line. They were first and then their boyfriend came in right behind us and then behind them was a mother with a uh, carriage thing and uh, I remember seeing her waiting in line behind me and a bunch of other people and then she went inside and talked to the security guard and I assumed that maybe she was going in for the appointment thing because like there's a, a there's like a doctor's office thing in the tower above Shrek Mall so I'm assuming she maybe used that excuse because she was next in line i'm like okay i'm third in line i didn't mind but i was like a part of me was like that's not 100 percent uh fair but i don't know again i still got what i wanted so i'm fine yeah <laughs> that's wicked yeah. so is your plan to race through that build or are you just going to do a little bit of time an hour a day whatever well thing is i i'm thinking i'm starting at 12 and going till 5 uh oh, wow. p.m my time so because that's normally how long it takes for my battery and my mobile device to run out. So, oh, okay. so you're racing against the battery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so f fully charge it tonight. Yeah. And then 12 o'clock tomorrow. All right. And go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Off the races. Uh, I mean, like, I'm thinking I'll probably get to bag 18 tomorrow based on what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay. But lots of detail. I mean, like, it comes with the exclusive Golden Woo minifigure. So... That's kind of pretty cool. Yeah, that's a nice figure. I've been collecting all the golden figures I can get my hands on and just, yeah. I, I watched a speed build of that and I stopped when I saw the figure. <laughs> went, oh, there's a figure I'd want, even though I'm not a Ninjago guy. Oh, yeah. They got a bunch of cool figures that are checking off my wish list for figures. Uh, so that's nice they included in this set. <laughs> and uh, it was nice that they, my store still had stock of the vintage car because even though I have one already built up, I want one for my sealed collection because people are saying it's going to go up in value. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I love I loved to pull the trigger on that. Maybe I will. I don't know. I'd recommend <laughs> it. An, I'd recommend nice it. Set. I just hate the door that it opens if I buy that set. Let's oh, see. we're all thinking of everyone who's sick right now. We all want everyone to get better. We just wish our collective see. governments would speed things up. I yeah, love the fact so that now they're saying here in Canada that, or at least in Ontario, are you know, we're going to have a slower rollout of the vaccinations the next couple of weeks. It's like I'm just sick and tired of the mismanagement of things. Well, they're next week in Manitoba. They're starting to vaccinate the people in the, um, uh, like home care and stuff like that the older people they're just starting out there uh well they've been starting to do health care workers they have okay. been doing it. now it's gonna they're starting to go into like the the home care people in uh, home care i'm really curious how the allocations were between the provinces it's the federal government that's bringing it in so i'm real curious how they decided, you know, how much would go where? Was it just based on per capita, which is, you know, population? Or did it, was there other considerations like areas where even if you had less people, but you had higher, you know, illness, like out in your, yeah. your way, you've had some huge spikes despite the lower number of population. So yeah, I'd be really curious how that works out. I'm, I'm a math guy. So when statistics kind of like, yeah, it's a turn on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who makes and plus who makes the decisions? I mean, that's got to be an interesting uh, room to be in. The fly on the wall, like people deciding basically who's going to live and who's going to die. Because some people aren't going to make it. You know, they're not going to make it to the time they get a shot. I mean, we don't want that for anybody, but someone's making de decisions and someone's not going to make it. Uh, there's Brad having fun. Yeah, yeah, we're all having fun. <laughs> so I guess it's my turn to open up something else. Let's see. 
Now this one is kind of, I hate it because the name is on one side, but so what sucks about this one is that I ordered it originally. Why is this web browser being so slow? I'm trying to switch my screens and all right. Come on. See, I'm not a big fan of this software. I don't know why so many streamers like to use it. So had ordered this originally, um, Amazon pre-order and I had it Oh, wow. I can't remember. Like six months it was in my queue. Amazon was even sending me notices. Did you want to keep it while we we're waiting? Blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah, because who else am I going to order it from? Especially ahead of time on pre-order. And then one by one, I started seeing all my friends online where it was dropping. They weren't able to get it. And it's like, I said, no, I still got it because Amazon didn't contact me because they usually will contact me. Do you want to keep it on hold? Blah, 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 until we get it in. And then all of a sudden we hit that point where I guess we're six months out. Well, it drops off your, your order list on Amazon. You'd have to do some clicking around to actually see further. And sure enough, they quietly canceled it on me. No. And that pissed me off. It's like, you dirty buggers. So then for the next six weeks, I was looking, okay, where can I get this set? And they were saying, you know, I can find it on the UK. And, you know, pay the extra and blah, blah, blah to get it over. And then it was things were starting to get a little more desperate around Christmas when it was becoming clear we weren't going to see this in the Canadian market. Because um, I contact, contacted a Mega, Block, a Mega Constructs, MCX, and I got the most vague letter basically saying um, it's out of our control, it's tied to distribution, and the allocations have already uh, been put out there, which basically tells me what's done is done. There isn't going to be more. And if it's really only available on the other side of the pond and it was momentarily available in the States and Mexico, I'm screwed. Yeah. So I fired up Amazon again, just dumb luck that day that it was actually showing up again, but it was showing as only available from Amazon UK as a direct. And it's like, all right, well, this set is the reason I bought a lot of other sets. And I'm just watching my camera stutter for some reason. <laughs> um, but we'll get it open. Well, I think I know what steam it is. Yeah. I do. And it really pissed me off that I had to do this. But I had ordered basically the entire wave based on this set because everything else came out in the market. Um, yeah, I didn't have to import the other ones. So I bought all the other sets based on this one being the first of the many that I was buying because previous to this, it was only one big dragon. And, you know, being screwed out of this was really pissing me off and I was getting to a point like, you know, I'm a Game of Thrones fan, but I haven't built any of these and I made a lot of like four other purchases because of this set. And if I don't get this set, I'm going to feel real stupid. And I didn't want to get it on the aftermarket. So I paid whatever it was to get it from Amazon UK, have it shipped. And of course, what are we seeing here? It's a ding box. Thank you. Although it did survive crossing the great pond, I guess, you know, big set, 1208 pieces, um, crap ton of figures. And uh, one of the previous sets I bought actually connects to this in some way. And it makes for a nice display piece, too, because it, it, it displays well open and closed. And when it's closed, it kind of looks like a complete fortress. So I guess I'm glad I have it. It's done. But, yeah, I think I'm done with the theme. Right now, like, if this was Masters of the Universe, I wouldn't care. And I would keep going deep on it. But I feel really burned by this theme. I don't know. Because basically, I probably paid, you know, 40% more, 50% more all in just to get this from the UK. Just to say I have it. 
to you know so i can say i've got the whole wave of them but yeah unless there's something extraordinary and for me extraordinary for game of thrones would have to be more dragons because i love the dragons i mean because they made some really sweet sets here right Man, i don't know if this was the first one and there was not the boat that must have been the first one that got me in and then this is the smaller dragon that came later so there's two sweet looking dragons and then you know what i probably should have just stayed with the dragons but oh no you know i gotta go deep and try and get them all and it's it's sad too that we do still you know and this is the only set really now in the last 12 months that fell back into the old mega constructs is hard to get in our market because eventually everything else showed up especially the halos did the yeah. uh, masters of the universe pretty much all did eventually it took two or three extra months but they did show up but this one i don't know and i'll feel stupid if in a month it's available for 99 bucks or something like that but yeah i mean it's a great looking set i think the build's gonna be good and there's definitely some unique looking bricks in there with the uh, Game of Thrones theme, they came out with a lot of new shaped, not profile bricks, because that's what we'd call it in Lego, but they've definitely got some more, like these bricks here are all kind of curved edges and stuff, but they still look like a cinder block. Not that I would ever mix them up, but they're definitely cool. I mean, if you had a crap ton of those, it'd be great to build real castles with. They use them as an accent piece on the edges, but if you could build a whole castle out of those, that'd be great. That box must be fairly full, is it? The size? Of it? Now, he, that's the other thing. Um, this is a very solid box, as opposed to a similar size box from Lego. Um, you know, if I, mm, I was going to say that's consistent, but it's not because you know what? That only feels like one third full. Yeah, I was going to mm. usually like for that size of box, twelve hundred pieces. It, Thank you. Well, th that's the thing. So with Mega, I guess you could say it, when the piece count goes up, like the box doesn't just get gigantic. Yeah. Because um, the three boxes in my daughter's room, the ones I had told you about previously that were still sitting there. Um, yeah. You know, they're they're all those gigantic sets. The Infinity, Castle Skull, and um, the Enterprise. Well, they're all monster sets. But the boxes aren't crazy bigger than this you know they're dense they're very well packed i guess in the case of mega construction they don't go overboard as they get more expensive because they're not going to get the shelf space anyway and i'm convinced that's the reason lego does that with monster boxes that are half full or quarter full it's all about getting that shelf space and showing off and yeah and mega constructs just isn't getting that space or at least that was true until recently uh, the last time I walked into a Walmart, they were getting significant space. And that's the first time in four years where they're getting significant space. Oh, Brad's out of here. Get back to work. Maybe me and Brad will have an announcement in a week or two. A little joint, joint venture that we are going to iron out. But uh, I'm glad to have it. But this this caused me a lot of stress. Waiting for it, convinced that Amazon Canada was hooking me up because <laughs> I was on that waiting list so long. Them not telling me, ordering from the UK at a higher expense. So it's shipped by Royal Mail in the UK. And then I got no tracking after that. So I didn't know when it was entering the country. I only had a vague... Uh, Oh, wow. Nothing on there. So, yeah, only only uh, a vague idea when it was supposed to hit this market. And uh, actually, it was funny. So Wednesday, I'm home because that's my Christmas day. And I'm thinking, you know, Canna Post hasn't come by yet this week with the package. So I was expecting this to come by Canna Post. Because most stuff that I get from anywhere outside this country, Canada Post, say, seven times out of ten, will end up being the broker that gets it, you know, coming into the country from customs. Well, it wasn't. It was FedEx. 
And I only clued into that when I checked my Amazon for my orders. And it's like, oh, let's see what's still out there. It's like, oh, okay, I'm waiting for this. And then it said, oh, uh, actually, you know what it said? It said attempted delivery. And I went, what? <laughs> yeah. How did they? How did Amazon attempt delivery? And it's like, you know, went down the list of the information. It's like the tracking. And it's like, oh, my God, they attempted it on the previous Friday. So Friday last week I could have had this. And it was FedEx. Well, FedEx yeah. didn't leave a card. There was no knock on the door. Yeah. And... Uh, Fortunately, I got to FedEx, I soon, and that's the thing. I turned around. I called them very quickly to make sure that they had the package, and as soon as they had it, me and my daughter got in the car and yeah. went 20 kilometers to the FedEx depot and picked it up. But I was not expecting FedEx was going to be the one to get it. I know they do their own customs and brokering, but, yeah, I didn't have a clue. I wish uh, Amazon UK would have let me know it was FedEx, then I would have looked out for it. But they may not know who handles it once it gets to our side of the pond, you know? Yeah. Like to me, that's a big mystery. It's, you know, when I order some stuff and they'll say ahead of time, Oh, it's DHL handling or FedEx handling or UPS handling. Great. That I know. But a lot of the time it's like, no, we're shipping it by whatever local. And then when it hits our country and it hits customs, then some courier is what chosen randomly or there's a lottery. I don't know how they divvy up who's going to get it, whether it's UPS or, or Canada post or, FedEx in this case, or I mean, I've had some with a uh, Canpar. Canpar's done some too. Don't like Canpar. Oosh. I'd love to know how that decision is made. So I wish someone would educate me. I guess not that it matters. We have no control over it. Yeah. So I've been ranting. Oh, oh my, Chantel. <laughs> we have a spy in our midst. I do believe. Hey, Ryan, is there a spy amongst us? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to contribute to a divorce or anything. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just, she doesn't already know. She knows it was a joke. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she just likes to tease. Yeah. <laughs> Is it safe for you to show off what's in the next box? Oh, I think I'm pretty safe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... I got, well, I'll show the small thing first. This was an add-on. Uh, that oh, is nice. Oh, the, wow. Uh, with, with the medal, the celebration one. Yeah. I'm wondering if that head is the, is, uh, the correct head, because I don't know if that looks like this exact head. Well, it, uh, there was two, ver he had two versions of it, and one, one has white pupils and one has another color hmm apparently that doesn't look like the right head because i have the figure here let me pull it out i think it was a second version though from one of the encyclopedias or one of those dk books yep but i don't know you know i don't recall enough to be able to say with any certainty so Braxis, I'm not building any of these during this live stream. If we build anything, let's see. It will probably be I don't know what camera this is showing up on. It'll be this guy. Is it different there, Jacob? It looks different to me. I'll have to take a look because I wonder if it's in that. I've got that encyclopedia. I'll have to take a look at it. Yeah, because it looks like a Han Solo head to me. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to take a look after and see. Compare it to the photography on Bricklink. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, so I got that. I had one figure I had ordered. It, oh, you know what it was? It was a Vader figure. I had to get it three times. Oh. <laughs> From, you know, the one vendor had sent me a replacement, and then when he sent me the replacement, that head was still a wrong one. It was a Vader head, but it was the wrong one for what was the body for what I was trying to get. And then I ended up going, and then he ended up just refunding me and basically telling me to bugger off after two failed attempts to give me the right head. And then another vendor, he hooked me up. So it took three times to get the right head on a particular Jeez. Vader figure. Oh, you got Cody. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. I was so happy when I got that. I got that one, I think, used, though. It was all, in, you know, complete <clears throat> in box and all, but I think I got that one used. That's nice. I think they made a Rex one that would really sold well. Uh, they yeah. did make a Rex one. It got canceled. It was all ready to go, and they canceled it. What? Yeah. Why? I That's... heard that on an M&R. M&R talked about that once. Ah, missed opportunity right there. Oh yeah, that would have been the best of the whole series. So this this was open box sealed bags. Okay. And uh, you can see what I paid. Isn't sure. Thirty. Thirty. Probably pretty good. Honestly, I think it's probably pretty okay. good. Because the demand for that figure is going to be very high. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though not for the line, but for that character for that figure, yeah. And like I've said, with the ones I have collected, every one of them that has a helmet, I think looks awesome for the most part. Any one of them that has a human head, they look like crap. They just don't look right. <laughs> Sell it for 200 <laughs> Someone's trying to recoup some costs. Have you been telling someone how much I've been making lately? <laughs> Not everything can be sold for double or triple. <laughs> it takes a while. It takes a while. That's pretty cool, though. Mm -hmm. I would, hey, if I had an opportunity, I'd buy more just because I'd, I'd sit on them. And I wish I had some in storage, but I don't. I don't think I've got any constractables. That's storage. hard to tell. I might have one or two. Yeah, you're gonna need good photography if, you should, if you're trying to check on that head, because of course you yeah. want the zoom. You want the zoomed up head. Looking on record, and yeah, I can't zoom in far enough to really. You can check brick started. link, brick owl, and then I can probably find you another link of places with good photography for that head. But yeah, that's that's pretty wicked. Hmm. So how many constructible figures do you have now? Uh, I've got Grievous. The best one. I, well, <laughs> Seriously, yeah, hands, even if you don't put a cape on him, the best one. I mean. Yeah. Uh, Boba Fett, Darth Maul, and the Scout Trooper and Speeder Bike. That's one of my favorites. Yeah, and okay. That, that that would be a tie for first and the speeder bike one too. Yeah. I mean, that was a great one. And the only one they made a vehicle. It's like, oh we I don't know how many other vehicles they could make without it getting too big. I mean, and that's yeah. big. When it's built, I mean, what is that? Eighteen inches long or something? It's 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 as it's, it is, when I displayed it, I altered it just to make it fit a certain way, just because I didn't like how the angle was and yeah, that's a great set, though. I would actually like to have a bunch more just to have the extra speeder bikes. And then maybe... Oh, yeah. Because I do... Do I... I don't even know if I've got any characters that would be good on the speeder bike other than that, because I always buy the helmet guys. I'm looking in the cabinet now. They're not all built, though. Well, that one... I picked that up. I don't think when I got it. But it, it had retired, and it had disappeared. And it popped back up on Toys R Us online, and, it's, and it was on sale. Uh, and I jumped at it as soon as I saw it. I was like, oh, I haven't seen that in a while. And oh, I'd been wow. wanting it, but I didn't want to pay full price, so I, I got lucky. Yeah. 
I mean, there's there's some sets I've eyed new, and it's like, oh, I don't want to pay that price, but I'm willing to pay less, even if it's used. You know, if it's complete. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm a builder. I want to build it. Ultimately, I mean, I'll care about new in box if I'm going to flip it, but like this dinged up box, I don't really care. I'm going to open it up and build it, and then I'm going to recycle the box. I don't even hold on to them to sell them or fl or whatever. There was one or two guys, but it's like. Every time I do a deal just to get the boxes out of the house, like someone says, oh, can you hold it another week? Or can you do this? Or can you do that? It's like, no, I want them gone. They're garbage. <laughs> they hold no value for me anymore. So it's like, yeah, be gone. I think my wife gets irritated how easy it is for me to throw something away. Like, nope, get it out. It's disposable. <laughs> <laughs> As, as much as people will think I'm a hoarder, it's like, no, I'm so willing to get rid of it. Let it be gone. It does not need to live here anymore. Because I did that. I kept all the boxes forever. For whatever reason in my head, oh, if I wanted to sell it, it'll up the value. Eh, on use, like, only on a handful of sets does that really help. There's absolutely people who want the box. Because I know I was one of those guys. I routinely spend 5 or $10 more to get a used with box than I did without the box. But in the end, what did I end up doing? Pitch the box. It's like, yeah. Yeah. You know, you grow up, you learn stuff, whatever. If you're going to play speculator, then you're probably not a builder or not nearly as much, or you're only building like 5% of everything you buy because you're using your speculation skills to finance what you're building. That's not fun anymore. I mean, unless you, Hey, money's fun for some people, but I want to build. This made me feel like a kid again. I tell you what I dread doing. Remember all the cards I was selling? Well, I stopped selling because of COVID. And I stopped doing the meetups because I really just didn't want to deal with that anymore. But it's like, uh, sooner or later, I want to sell those stupid cards again. <laughs> <laughs> I was going... Yeah through all that effort to, to catalog and f take photographs of them and stuff. Now, at least now I got a better setup for photography, so that'll be okay. But I mean, sooner or later, I got to get around to selling those cards again. Cause that was an easy couple hundred dollars a week, you know? Wow. Yeah. Some weeks it was pretty good. You know, even on a low week where it was just a hundred bucks, you're still only talking, you know, stuff i paid you know a fraction of that for in some cases so selling off my childhood slowly card by card <laughs> true and my dad he was the one who got me into that crap i wasn't even interested in most of that stuff i bought those cards that was all him because he was so into it because you know his parents had tossed out so much of his childhood memories He's the one who instilled the collector hoarder thing in us. Keep everything. <laughs> oh, oh, you can't believe the stuff he would have too. Like he had, like every time McDonald's had one of those silly promotions for toys or whatever, whatever it was, he got all six or all 10 of them, <gasps> kept them in, kept them in bags, did this and that. He had all this stuff before he passed away. My sister ended up getting a lot of it. I had no interest in it. I didn't care. And I don't know what she did with it. Glasses, you know, remember um, the glasses you'd get at the gas station, right? Complete set of four glasses at Petro Canada or whatever. He'd have all those kinds of collectible things. To me, that's all very tacky. But I tell you, though, I wonder if way back when, Lego did a promotion with McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew if he had that stuff. Because if he oh. did, I, I should be hitting up my sister and going, hey, you want to go through all that crap stash of dads and see if you got some Lego in there? Unfortunately, oh. I think she knows enough about me to know that if there is, she should be checking it first before handing it over. Yeah. Well, I think like uh, the unofficial Lego store last time I was there last month, uh, they had at least one of the McDonald's ones. And I, I didn't want to have to pay like the $7 he was asking because if, to me, it's like a brick that has the Lego logo slapped onto it. Well, yeah, and I'm positive Lego didn't build it. So, oh, no. you know, most McDonald's toys are made by McDonald's in China. You know, whoever they have do their manufacturing for them. So whether it's the Barbie or the Lego or even the Hot Wheels, 
none of the stuff is usually made by the brand you're seeing. So it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. I mean, if you're buying it for nostalgia or for the name, great. Or if you're some big collector on certain weird stuff, great. But <laughs> still, I mean, it'd be kind of cool to have that. I don't know. It wouldn't suck. You mm-hmm. know, probably spend a lot more on a lot less. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not. I, I'm. I'm trying to make a New Year's resolution to not. Like eBay for me is going to be stupid. So I'm doing my. I should. You know what? I should delete the app. <laughs> I really should just do, that would stop me from ordering delete the app and then maybe give it to my wife until I change my password or something <laughs> oh boy that's a that's a boy that's a bad bridge though yeah I'll never be able to go back Ooh. I don't know I gotta rethink that but I don't want to do eBay this year because eBay was while it was good and successful in most ways for me last year it was brutal Right. Because I'm in a position where, you know, I can hit up BrickLink or even Facebook for that matter. If I want something, I can just say, yeah, <laughs> here we go, cha-ching, and deal with it later. But it's like, that can be a real deadly road to go down. Because mm-hmm. I've already been through financial problems in the past for dumb purchases. So it's like, yeah, let's... Let's make sure we don't do something super stupid. So, trying to rein in the collection. And I do honestly want to build more. On well, that you... note, sorry, <laughs> you, I was cutting you off. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, if you want a, something to build that'll take you a while, definitely recommend the gardens. <laughs> oh, I, I don't look for long builds because that just sometimes is brutal on my back or my eyes or whatever. But yeah, it's not like I got nothing to build. <laughs> <laughs> and, what, True. and what's sad is I'm looking at stuff I've got two of here that I shouldn't even have two of. Mm, if you yeah. got any Ninjago 2014, I can see if maybe I can take them off your hands, maybe. If I got them, <laughs> if I'm got them, I'm not dumb enough to sell them. But <laughs> I get it. Because if I thought the TV series was supposed to end. Oh, I, I think it's it was supposed to end at least two occasions that I can think of. Back in 2012 and then back in 2019. Because in 2019, they had like a three-episode uh, season, I think it was. Might have been four, but still, it was a really short season. And at the end of the epi- the, the final season's episode, it said the end in the Ninjago language. So me, I was thinking, this is the end, you know. So I've grown, grown up yeah, because... Because I've heard it, you know, a half dozen times people saying, oh, it's ending and whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of the early Ninjago stuff I had zero interest in, but it's only like, you know, I think the Quake Mech was that first one where I bought it and built it to be bought. You know, I, I bought it to build it as opposed for parts or figures or whatever. Right. And I just loved that set. I thought it was so crazy looking. And there's been, you know, something in each wave since that's just been, oh, wow, they're just knocking it out of the park. Not with every oh, set, yeah. of course, but... They, they definitely got some great stuff. I'm partial mm-hmm. to mechs and robots, whatever. But they do have something. I and mean, that one you're building there, that's just crazy. I mean, from a, like for me, from Apocalypseburg on, their big, their big sets, their big annual set has been amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like the reference, like one of the main references I think I've just noticed that I didn't know about. You ever heard of Lego Rock Raiders? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there was a lot of unique um, parts and elements to those, uh, to that wave, the Mm -hmm. Rock Raiders, yeah. There is a sticker that is written in the Ninjago language, and I, thankfully in the instruction booklet on, like, one of the first pages, it has the, what's you call it, like, like, translator. So I've been going at that while I listen to you talk. Oh, oh my uh, God, they've actually got, like, a language. Yeah. <laughs> oh my and, goodness. And so one of the stickers, I translated it and it said Rock Raiders. I'm like, what the heck is Rock Raiders? And I looked it up and I typed in Lego Rock Raiders. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, check this out. Now, no one explain anything to Mama about WandaVision because we all want to watch it tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah. I can't say anything then because I've seen both episodes. <laughs> You've already seen both episodes. Yeah, yeah. Don't say anything. I, I want to watch it tomorrow. I want to wake up 
And uh, honestly, after breakfast, I'm going to wake up my daughter and wife. And if we're not doing anything, we're watching WandaVision for sure. And I like what Chris was saying, that if you buy the set, it'll cost you 1200 bucks because you're going to get suckered into having to buy the other two. And he's he's not wrong. Yeah, he's not uh, thing is, I like to think I have enough self-control because I honestly, I passed on both of those two sets because I didn't really care for it because the minifigure selection was meh. And the main reason I got the gardens was for the golden figure. And I want to collect all the golden figures. And also there's a Zane Memorial uh, from, because my favorite character is Zane. And so I want anything Zane related if I can get my hands on it. And then I find out there's all these Ninjago Easter eggs. I'm like, okay, hey, fine. That was, I'll, I'll get it. I'll wait in line. I'll get it. I'll ask for a loan for my grandmother. If she'll let me, which she did. And just, yeah. <laughs> well, here's a question for you. How many golden figures are there? You mean like golden figures in just Ninjago? Has there been more? In the Ninjago Legacy sets, the main uh, sets that are released this year, they okay. say on the box that there's six, but the Gardens comes with the unofficial seventh, which is Golden Woo. Okay. Oh, and the thing boy. is, they've only released four so far the other two are coming in the summer so i don't know why it is but in my head i always envision ninjago to be power rangers you know <laughs> that's what it is in my head it's it's like five lions and five colored guys doing yeah. whatever and i, I just can see that yeah this is their version of power rangers yeah oh double a's in the house <laughs> Mama still wants to know what's the premise of WandaVision. I think I with, tell without, without watching what... anything, because Team Mog's already watched it, but to <laughs> me, I'm just thinking with what happened with Avengers Endgame, this is a trip through her mind. I don't know. But this is just what I get from what I've seen on the trailer. It just to me she must be tripping out. Cause she's distraught yeah. <laughs> about what happened to her husband. And that's I'll leave it at that, because that's all I think I know. Honestly, I don't even know either. After <laughs> you watch two episodes and you're still not sure, you know, I'm what? not sure. Either. I think that's that a good sign. Everyone is so excited for this series. Like, there's a lot. Like, um, I watch Kevin Smith and his podcast, Fat Man Beyond. Great thing. He's on once a week on the weekends, and it's a good two, three, four hour long form podcast with him and another guy. And to listen right. to him talk about comics and movies and pop culture. You learn something by the end of it. You've been entertained, usually great. And if you like Kevin Smith, you you just if you don't know who Kevin Smith is, I can't help you. But yeah, <laughs> you'll have to leave the stream. But okay, I mean, well, no, he's a writer. He's done all kinds of movies and stuff. Acted and produced. Dave directed. Bob. You ever yeah. Seen? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. But, or Mall Rats. Uh, Mall Rats is his probably the one that everyone would know or at least yeah. have heard or, of. Or, uh, clerks. Clerks, and yeah. clerks he's writing like a clerks or another mall rats can't remember what he's doing right now he's sitting on a script he's playing with but um yeah i, I love him to death and i love that podcast i can just and that's not, that's a nice one because you don't have to watch it so you could say have that on while you're building sometimes i've had the other headset on while i'm building and i'll have that running so that's kind of cool so hey Corey, everyone say hi to Corey. hey Corey. uh did I recognize the sets? The Rock Raiders sets? I don't think so. I just... <clears throat> Let me just see here. Am I, missing I don't something? think so. I'm assuming she's talking about the Rock Raiders. Like, uh, I'm pulling up images here. Like, the... Yeah, it doesn't look that all that familiar. When um, there was a store here in Toronto, um, Lasting Lasting Toys, when uh, they went out of business, they had um, they had Rock Raiders still on the shelf, still on the shelf. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how many years out of print that was, but they were great for still having stuff, you know, at retail or just slightly above. But they were very good deals. I. Re Everyone in Toronto, Miss Saga misses them so much. Because they were also one of the first um, Lego shows in the Toronto area. They had what was called Brickfet. They were co-sponsors of it. So we we dearly miss that store. Lego squeezed them out of the market. Shame. Yep. I mean, you can't have a Lego store if you can't buy retail, right? 
you know, can't get new stuff. Then you just become that aftermarket store. Well, that's the thing. They weren't an aftermarket store. They were selling current sets at MSRP. And then, you know, stuff that was out of print at just slightly over MSRP. So, yeah, we miss them. Did you see Jamie Rose, Ro, Ro, Roser? He Rosier? got a new store, eh? He's opening, he, uh, he's opening a new store, eh? He's moved well, to... His, well, where did he move? Because he well, was... Somewhere in, in... Just to another new building. I've seen oh. him post pictures in a couple different places. So where are you... So oh, I, I guess I keep forgetting that he's in that other Lego group that I'm not in anymore. So I don't see him. <laughs> but... Uh, and I never did get to his store. I, I, you know, I was trying to make every effort to get to his store. But he was only open, I think, three days a week or something. At the location he had near Grimsby... Um, he had some it, stuff that you'd see, but uh, I don't think he's willing to ship anything. That's I would totally support him, but I don't think he'll ship. I guess it's changed because he helped me out early on with some of my, you know, when I was chasing uh, 1999 and 2000 Star Wars. I bought a okay. bunch from him in really great condition, most of it in box. So I don't, you know, I, I, I don't have any real issues with him, you know, him and me had some personality conflicts, but beyond that, no, they, I mean, the guy was okay to deal with. Um, yeah. and I did very well dealing with him. I mean, I guess, I, I guess you could say I missed dealing with him because I did well. Um, never felt screwed either. Always, always came out smiling on those deals. It'd be neat to have a store like that actually locally that, uh, Especially for stuff that's been gone off the shelves for a few years. That... Yeah. You know, it's 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 weird. If you go into some of the pawn shops in the Toronto area, you can actually see old Lego sets built on a shelf. So, you know, the typical pawn <laughs> shop will have a section for video games. So you see the cartridges, a section for old CDs and, and audio tapes. And it's funny when you see them selling, you know, uh, mixtapes. You can't, you're not supposed to be able to sell a mixtape because that's got copyright music on it. But they're selling yeah. the 90 minute or whatever, you know, 60 minute audio tapes and the mixtape. Whatever. I don't know how they sell them for a dollar. That's how sad it is. But <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone's ever bought that crap. But then, you know, some of them have uh, another cabinet and they'll have like brick sets. And I've gone into a few of these shops when I drive my daughter around. We take a look at them and it's like, and of course, I'm looking at it with an educated eye going, oh, that's nice, but that part's either not real or it's wrong. Oh, that's nice, but those aren't the right figures. And it's like, yeah. I don't even care what the price is. I'm not playing that game. <laughs> you know, trying to figure out. I mean, some people love that. Oh, okay, I'm going to fix this set. And I, eight years ago, that was me. If I thought there was a deal, and I didn't mind doing that. Well, eight years later, nine years later now, because I when I come back into this 2012, uh, I don't got that patience anymore. I don't want to piece together stuff anymore. I want it perfect and I want yeah. it working and I don't want to spend, uh, 12 bucks in shipping for $2 worth of parts to fix mm -hmm. that. I'm done with that. You know, I'm going to make this probably one big last purchase to fix all of my daughter's sets. And then that'll probably be my last big heyday on Bricklink. We'll see. I've said that before. Haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's very hard to walk away. Well, we've showed off everything. You you showed off everything, eh, Ryan? Yeah. That was it. Okay. So how about we close this down? I start up a new stream. Okay. And we'll do a build stream in um, 10 minutes. Sounds like okay. good. Sound good? All right. See you guys. You bet. All right, peace. Yeah. And we're